हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक इन अवर न्यू सेशन बट बिफोर गोइंग इन दिस सेशन प्लीज गो थ्रू माई प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल न्यूचर एजुकेशन बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सम ऑफ द टॉपिक विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो बिफोर यू आर गेटिंग इन दिस वीडियो इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर यू टू गो थ्रू दैट वन ओके सो टूडे अवर टॉपिक फॉर द डे इज रेशनल नंबर्स एंड दैट डेसिमल एक्सपांसन आप अपने नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड में ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके हो कि वॉट डू मीन बाई रेशनल नंबर्स एनी नंबर दैट वी कैन राइट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू इट इज कॉल्ड एज रेशनल नंबर्स और अगर हम रेशनल नंबर्स का डेसिमल एक्सपांसन करने जाए तो वो दो वे में हो सकता है फर्स्ट इज टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपांसन और नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिपीटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपांसन राइट आपकी बुक में इस टॉपिक को लेके थ्री डिफरेंट थियरम दिए गए हैं एंड इट इज लाइक लिटिल बिट कंफ्यूजिंग डोंट वरी हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन वेरी सिंपल वे इन वेरी सिंपल आइडिया यू विल बी गेट अबाउट दिस एंड लेटर आफ्टर द डिस्कशन ऑफ दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट थियरम सो रेशनल नंबर्स रेशनल नंबर्स वी कैन राइट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ P by Q तो रेशनल नंबर्स का अगर डेसिमल एक्सपांसन करें तो वो हो सकता है टर्मिनेटिंग और नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग कैसे चलो देखते हैं हम एग्जांपल से फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फाइव फर्स्ट आई नीड टू राइट दिस पॉइंट थ्री सेवन फाइव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेशनल P बाई क्यू सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री अपॉन थाउजेंड so my dear students in my previous video i have already explained how to find prime factors of the number here we are going to use that method here you have to find the prime factors of this two so please do by yourself the prime factorization of 375 and if we are going to do the prime factorization of 375 you will be getting 3 multiplied by 5 is to 3. We can write this thousand as a 10 is to 3. Again, if I am going to do the factorization of this, 10 is to 3 can be written as 2 multiplied by 5 each power 3. This is same. So we can cut this. At last, we are going to get. 3 upon 2 to the power 3 okay so have you noticed here we have got the power of denominator that means if we are considering this in the form of p by q the power of q is in the form of 2 raised to 3 another example i am going to take here i am mm, taking 29 by 343 as you all know 29 is what kind of number it is prime number so we cannot do prime factorization of 29 so let it be as it is but if you are going to do the prime factorization of 343 you will be getting 7 to the power 3 check this up huh? is it true or not okay so let's move ahead so we have seen two examples here If I am considering this term as p by q, I am getting q in the form of 2 raised to 3. And here, if I am considering this example, is and in that in this example, if I am considering this term as p by q, here I got q in the form of 7 to the power 3. So rational numbers, if rational numbers are terminating, then the power of q is must be in the form of 2 raised to 3 5 raised to 3 or 2 and 5 both raised to 3 in short if i am going to write this in the general form i can write this as 2 to the power n and 5 to the power m so my dear students if you are going to do the decimal expansion of rational numbers and you are getting the power of q 
the power of q in the form of 2 raised to n phi raised to m then that kind of numbers you can say like that that numbers are having terminating decimal expansion we are not going to get the q in the form of 2 raised to n phi raised to m that means that numbers are having non terminating repeating decimal expansion i hope you all are having clear idea let's get the quick re review about it agar rational numbers ka decimal expansion kare aur uska एक्सपांशन टर्मिनेटिंग है और नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग है अगर ये ढूंढना है तो कैसे ढूंढेंगे तो उसके लिए आपको नंबर जो दिया है रेशनल नंबर जो दिया है उसको p बाई क्यू के फॉर्म में लिखना है चलो इतना कर दिया इसके बाद p एंड q दोनों के प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ढूंढने हैं कैसे ढूंढोगे हमने प्रीवियस वीडियोस में देखा कि हाउ टू डू प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन बाई यूजिंग प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मैथड सो सेम मैथड फॉलो करके This integer 375 and 1000 के prime factorization करेंगे. After prime factorization, we will get its smallest form. तो ये हुआ हमारा दूसरा step और ये दूसरा step करने के बाद आपको ये consider करना है कि आपको जो last smallest form p by q के form में मिला है, उसकी जो q जो है, वो 2 raised to n और 5 raised to m के form में होना चाहिए. अगर है तो आपके रेशनल नंबर का डेसिमल एक्सपांशन जो है वो कैसा होगा टर्मिनेटिंग अगर इस फॉर्म में नहीं है तो आपका रेशनल नंबर का डेसिमल एक्सपांशन है वो नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिपीटिंग होगा राइट सो आफ्टर बाय कंसीडरिंग दिस एग्जांपल ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव वी आर गोइंग टू राइट योर नेक्स्ट थियरम सो एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू at the starting of my session that this is very easy topic and first we are going to see by example then we will conclude the session by theorem so now you are able to write the theorem on the basis of example only so your theorem 1.6 is stated that let x is equal to p by q be any rational number such that the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 raised to n phi raised to m where n and m are non-negative integers then x has a terminating decimal expansion ये theorem ये कहना चाहता है कि अगर कोई भी एक rational number को ले लो और उसको p by q के form में ले लो तो जो आपका q है यानि कि denominator है वो आप अगर 2 raised to n phi raised to m के form में लिख पाते हो तो वो रेशनल नंबर का डेसिमल एक्सपांशन जो है वो कैसा है टर्मिनेटिंग जैसे हमने देखा अब नेक्स्ट थियरम इज योर थियरम 1.7 सो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू थियरम 1.7 बाय डूइंग सम स्लाइट चेंजेस इन दिस ओनली सो लेट्स डू सो योर थियरम 1.7 स्टेटेड दैट लेट x is equal to p by q be a rational number such that the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 raised to n phi raised to m instead of here you need to add not where n m are non-negative integers then x has a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion यानी कि अगर x जो है वो कोई भी एक rational number ले लो उसको p by q के form में लिख लो जो q है हमारा denominator अगर वो denominator हम 2 raised to n 5 raised to m के form में नहीं लिख पाते है उसका मतलब ये हुआ कि वो जो particular rational number है उसका decimal expansion कैसा है non terminating repeated repeating decimal expansion let's see this by one example on the basis of just explained theorem theorem 1.6 and 1.7 we are going to solve this examples here they have asked without actually performing long division state whether these numbers are having re repeating decimal expansion or terminating decimal expansion so जैसे कि हमने थियरम में देखा कि इफ वी वांट टू नो इफ एनी रेशनल नंबर इज हैविंग टर्मिनेटिंग और नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपांशन 
for that we are going to find first step is we have to find the prime factorization and as you all are knowing how to find fi prime factors let us do here we are going to find the prime factors of denominator why because in the theorem it is stated that if q if you are considering this in the form of p by q if q you can write q in the form of 2 raised to n 5 raised to m then this number is having terminating decimal expansion and if you are not able to do so this number is having non terminating decimal expansion so it deals with the denominator only so first we are going to find the prime factorization of denominator here i have written 455 so firstly 455 can be divisible by 5 if i am going to do i will get 91 over here again by 7 13 ones are 30 13 is a prime number so there will be no more prime factorization so here i got the prime factor of denominator 455 in the form of 5 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 30 and as per our theorem 1.6 this factors of q are not in the form of 2 raised to n 5 raised to m so this number is having non terminating repeating decimal expansion now solve the another example here the denominator is 1600 so as per our first step we are going to find the prime factors of 1600 right let us start by 2 because 1600 can be divisible by 2 first I will get 800 after that again 2 will get 400 200 again 2 100 50 25 then 5 5 za, and after that 5 1 za, 5 so if I am going to list prime factors of 1600 it can be 2 multiply by 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 2 that means how many times 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times 2 and 2 times 5 2 times 5 so here if you have noticed we are able to write the prime factors of 1600 in the form of 2 raised to n 5 raised to n where n m can be any positive integers so we can conclude that this number is having terminating decimal expansion so my dear student this was the way by which you can state that whether this any rational number is having terminating or non terminating re repeating expansion. Let us see a quick review about how to solve the examples. So, first you need to write the rational number in the form of p by q. If number is already given in the form of p by q, then let it be. But if number is not given in the form of p by q, first thing the very first thing you need to do is you have to write the number in the form of p by q after writing number in the p by q as now we all are knowing that we are having this theorem is mainly dealing with the denominator which is our q so first you are going to find the prime factors of denominator if after finding the prime factors if that prime factors are in the form of 2 raised to n 5 raised to m then you can conclude that this example this particular number is having terminating decimal expansion if it is not in the form of that then you can conclude it is having non terminating repeating expansion so today we are concluding our session over here thank you have a nice day